Hello and welcome to GMAX Studios. Today we are going to talk about firmware upgrades. Now firmware upgrades are software patches that are released by the camera manufacturer after the camera has been released in the market. This usually addresses bugs and issues that might have come to the camera manufacturer's notice uh, after the camera has been released and uh, it also makes the camera more compatible with newer accessories or newer lenses that might have hit the market after the camera. So it is very important to have the latest firmware upgrade on your camera. So this video is about firmware updates for the Sony brand of cameras. Uh, you can upgrade your firmware whether you have a Sony, Nikon, Canon or a Fuji. But this video in particular is uh, relates only to the Sony brand of cameras. If you have other brand of cameras, you can go to the end of this video where you will find the links uh, on how to upgrade uh, other brands like Nikon, Canon or Fuji. Before you start your firmware upgrade, make sure that your battery is fully charged and also take out the memory card from the camera. Now if you go to the setup menu or the suitcase menu as I call it to tab number 6, you will see the version displayed there. And if the version available is more than the version that is there in your camera, it is time to upgrade your firmware. Also go to tab number 4 in the same menu and change the USB connection to mass storage. You can then connect the camera to the computer and see that USB mode will be displayed as mass storage at the back of the camera. You can then safely switch off the camera because now it is ready for your firmware upgrade. To download the firmware upgrade, go to esupport.sony.com and go to the drivers and software section. You can either select the model directly or you can scroll down the menu and choose your camera. I'm selecting ILCE because I'm upgrading a Sony A7R. So the model ILCE7R shows up and we select an operating system of the computer which in my case is Mac OS X. You will see drivers for your computer and you will see the firmware. The firmware version is 3.10 which is definitely higher than mine so I download it. You press the download now, accept the agreement because you have no choice and the update starts downloading to your computer. After the download finishes you might see a warning but uh, you should ignore that and then install the update on the computer. Another warning. You might need to put in your admin password for the computer when you start upgrading the camera. Only after doing this step should you turn on the camera. The updater checks and as you can see it shows me the current version as 1.10 and the version after the update will be 3.10. So I press next. I go back to the camera which is connected and it says that it will reset the device. I press OK and I come back and it shows me a run command and I press the run command. Do not pull the USB cable out or turn off the camera during this process. It took the camera about 20 minutes to do this but I'm going to fast forward this section to the point that it is almost finished. So when the update has completed, the camera will automatically restart and you can see that happening on the screen. It says recovering data, please wait. Wait for it to do whatever it's doing 
and the screen will switch off. After that, you press finish and you eject the updater from your Mac. And the update is hopefully done. You can now disconnect the USB cable and now when you go back to the version, it shows that it has been updated to version 3.10, which is what we wanted. You should also go back to the USB connection again and set it back to auto so that the next time you don't have any problems. So that is it for now. Uh, do share this video with your friends and for more photography tips like this, please do subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, bye-bye.